Hey everybody, welcome to Bob on a Farm. Today we're going to start a pretty big project and hopefully get some of it done so we can show it to you. What I have is my John Deere 4400 combine with the uh, corn head on it. Corn head is a 444 uh, wide row set to 38 inch rows. And it matches my corn planter, so it's kind of handy that way. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pretty much take all the moving parts apart on each row unit and uh, replace the, the, um, the gathering chains, these sprockets, top and bottom, um, the springs, these, uh, these little spring tubes, the bolts, um, and let's see, um, also the, um, the deck plates and you can't see them from up here very well, but the stock rollers are all pretty well worn out. So we'll go ahead and, and, uh, do that. I've got all those parts here and, um, it'll be a pretty good project to work on. Can you see? Can you see? Oh, it looks like I got you lined up on there pretty good. So anyway, these these lower uh, sprockets are pretty tight. In fact, I think I'm going to end up having to go get a uh, impact wrench for those. And let's try the old uh, try the old double wrench trick here real quick, just to see if that'll give me enough leverage to get it to turn. hurting myself no oh boy they aren't even moving at all okay we're gonna switch to the switch over to the impact wrench so that's gonna take a few minutes I'll be back in just a few minutes well I did that first one and it came off so quickly I didn't I forgot about turning you on so we'll do the next one here That's like effortless with the impact. Not a bad at all. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and go on down the line here. We'll move you a couple of times here. I don't know how much of this we really have to repeat. <laughs> this it's like some kind of a snap ring that got away I know I let you get sorry I'm coming right back Okay, with this thing off of here, now we can take these take these things apart. Take the nut and the washer off of there. We're saving those. I think we're even saving the bolt. These were thrown away because these things are about shot. These things have got to be shot. Look at them. Oh, they aren't even turning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely time. Ah, there's a plow like a plow big plow bolt that goes up in here so that's why that doesn't turn so that fits there like that okay so what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and put all these things these pieces together so that I don't lose them because we all know that I'm gonna lose them and I'm just gonna set them in the back of the mule there so that they are out of the way and then these things they're gonna get thrown in a bucket someplace I think. I don't have a bucket handy, so maybe we'll throw those in the back of the mule. How about right over there? That's a good spot. Alright, so yeah, that's like a plastic nylon something or another here. Alright. That one. Keep these two things together. 
And I'm going to go through and clean all these things off before, and maybe even shoot some paint on them before we put everything back together again. There we are. Back to another another row here. Yeah, see this one's turning. That other one wasn't turning at all. So yeah, it's it's definitely time for this this thing to get uh, to get some tender loving, ever loving care here. Yeah, see how these springs are these springs have had it. They're no good at all. Well, I got all play all the pieces for this as all these are gonna get replaced every every spring, every bolt. I guess every washer. I think I have washers in my bolt collection, my nut and bolt collection. And these two. I'm gonna go right here. Okay. All right, with that, ah, caught. Then I think we can just take these, take these gathering chains off. Yeah, they're pretty sloppy. See how sloppy they are? See how droopy? Yeah. They're supposed to be fairly stiff, I think. I don't know. That's awfully sloppy. <laughs> so anyway, I guess I'll just throw those on the ground over here. There, that gets rid of all the gathering chains. So now the thing to do is, uh, oh, yeah. Got to take off the uh, upper, these upper um, sprockets. So yeah, I'm gonna turn you off for a minute here while I figure out how to do this. Okay, I'm here to take off these upper um, upper upper chain sprockets and I think I can just punch them out with this punch here Ooh. is that working I don't know you have to go there maybe I need a bigger punch uh, I have a bigger oh here's one let's see if this will fit in Oh, I might just start it. Let's try going this way, though. Ow! Maybe some. I think what's going to happen is we're going to run out of punch here because this thing is at the, it's tapered and it's just the size of the pins in there. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Uh, I hate to have to heat it, but I might have to heat it. It's not like we're trying to save them. I guess I can get new roll pins. I don't know what the heck we got here. 
Maybe this will do something. Like it's a double roll pin, but it still should pound out of there. Oh, that's starting to move a little bit. Maybe this one will punch out the middle one, and then we can punch the big one out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're talking. Yeah, we're talking. Yeah. There. All right, so we got one halfway out. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this one to go anywhere. Oh yeah, that's starting, okay. All right, so what I had to do to get these first roll, there's just a double roll pin going through these things. And so far, I've only gotten the first one out. And I didn't have drift pins small enough for these, these ones, so I took a quarter inch bolt and I ground it down with my angle grinder because that's the only tool I have to use. And then that could fit in there and drive, that, drive those pins out. So now I'm gonna do the same thing with the next roll pin, which is one that's one size bigger. And we'll have to use a little bit larger, a little bit larger bolt. I think I have this already. Let's give this a try though, and see if immediately it does something for us. Now that we got that other pin out of there, got to get it clamped on here pretty good though, because we got no place else to go. Let's see if we can get this to move. Okay, so I got all the roll pins out of these out of these two. Um, now, of course, you know they aren't coming off of there without being pulled. So I am going to well, first of all, I'm gonna tap them with a hammer. Tap them with a hammer. And I honestly don't know what I'm working with here. So I guess we try the puller. Let's see. We've got, yeah, that should pull it. Let's get, them, let's get them a little shorter here. Well, shoot. This isn't going to work. We've got, we've got these sprockets. And you can see as a very round hole that goes through it which is the uh, the drive shaft and then it's held on 
um, through these little holes here on the sides with uh, some roll pins. Okay, so here's the one that I got from uh, from Sloan, which is it has this hexagonal hole that it goes in, and apparently it's just like a the nut on top that holds it down with a washer or something because there's no place to put a no place to put the the uh, roll pins to hold it in place. So I'm gonna have to call Sloan, which is the place that I got them from, and check and see if they have the ones with the round holes in them. And I don't know, but we'll find out, and I'll get back to you.